Well, the ruling could have a significant impact on Tennessee, where it became a felony to camp on public property back in 2022. News 2's Tori Gessner explains why the Hermitage neighbors say this decision could affect the safety of their community. Is punishing people who sleep on the streets cruel and unusual? It's now a debate in the U.S. Supreme Court. The argument stemming from an Oregon city that made camping on public property illegal. The city was trying to incentivize people to accept shelter and dealing with a small group that was causing serious problems and crime in the city. And they're trying to balance those who wouldn't take the help with the city's needs to keep their public spaces open. If you can't sleep, you can't live. And therefore, by prohibiting sleeping, the city is basically saying you cannot live in Grants Pass. It's the equivalent of banishment. The Supreme Court listening to hours of arguments from both sides in D.C. Brittany McCann is paying close attention in Hermitage. Our city parks, our local community parks would all become just tent cities if this is passed by the Supreme Court. Dozens of people made the public land near McCann's house along Old Hickory Boulevard in Hermitage home for years, despite Tennessee's own law making it a felony to do so. McCann says the encampment not only created dangerous conditions for the people living there, but also her community around it. Feces, urine, vomit, blood, used medical supplies like needles to inject drugs. We had a lot of theft and crime in our community. We had Three people hit and killed by cars in less than six weeks. Trash everywhere. Our community became extremely unsafe. After almost two years of pressure from neighbors, the city finally closed the encampment down in late January. Now, McCann worries, depending on the Supreme Court's decision, the homeless could move back in. I am just terrified for what is going to happen to our community because we've already seen what happens when it is allowed. Some Supreme Court justices seemed sympathetic toward the homeless sleeping on public property, especially when there aren't enough beds at the shelters. Others said they believe policymakers, not judges, should be making the rules on how cities deal with the homeless. The court is expected to make its ruling by the end of June. Kendall.